sort of limping along and, and just an amazing turnaround. They are really, uh, were, were to some extent then, but especially now, a part of American culture. A crowd favorite now on the streets of John McDonough. Oh, this is McDonough 35, rather, not John McDonough High School. Oh, they string me up for that one. This is McDonough uh -huh. 35, you're, you're senior high school. I'm in trouble now. Some, uh, some New Orleans culture. Yeah, I caught my mistake. McDonough 35, high school. How big is Disney? How big little, is Disney? Uh, little fact here. Disney is about, well, they said 95,000 employees, which is, I gather that's from absorbing ABC. They're about a 13 to $15 billion company, or uh, if you want to look at it another way, the Disney Corporation is the size of the state of Louisiana's budget each wow. year. That's, uh, that's a big company. And they do it all without a legislature and a governor, too. <laughs> Somehow, some way. McDonough 35 on the street now. And let's see what Disney tune they're going to be playing. Nice from McDonough 35, senior high school. And as if I needed any reminder, the girls are all carrying flags with 35 on it. <laughs> they won't let me live this down. That's a little hint for you next time. <laughs> That's a hint. <laughs> well, I know we mentioned it before, but really uh, a great tribute to the musical talent in New Orleans to think, and we heard a lot of talk from the kids about this over the last few days, about, gee, we got one day to learn this song, one, one, one or two hour session, but uh, uh, they came through. And they did it, did it beautifully. Now there are to be 14 float units in this parade. We've already seen two of them, Snow White and Alice in Wonderland. And seen a marching band from Lafayette and one from right here in New Orleans. As we get a lull here, let's talk a little bit about the story of the, of the Hunchback. Really a, a very unlikely character for a, a Disney film, uh, of a character in Quasimodo that uh, certainly Victor Hugo saw as ugly. So you wouldn't expect to see that. Uh, there's a sort of a Beauty and the Beast kind of aspect to this. 
Um, Except that with Quasimodo, there's no hidden prince. No, no, there isn't. He's, not, uh, he's, he's just exactly what he appears to be, which is a lonely outsider who is sort of uh, isolated from the world. And, and in a very gritty, uh, dark and dreary uh, setting of 1847, it's a, a little bit brighter certainly in places in the Disney movie. Uh, the basic storyline, we don't want to give it away, but the basic storyline uh, is that he's a sheltered, a lonely, isolated figure uh, who uh, is, uh, through a series of events, uh, persuaded to leave and, and uh, buck the wishes of his guardian, Judge Claude Frollo. So that'll set it up for you. Right, and uh, he is the bell ringer. And in the original, in the book, of course, he's deaf. He is the deaf bell ringer of the, uh, the bells of the Cathedral of Notre Dame. In the movie, the Disney movie, they chose not to make him deaf. But um, but at any rate, uh, you see the contrast between beauty and yeah. physical and the, ugliness uh, and all these different things. The ending's a little more upbeat, too. Being uh, let's hope so. All right, we'll take a break here and be back with more of our Festival of Fun parade coverage in just a moment. They are throwing. I think I saw somebody throw something down the way. Probably. We have, we have people on every float handing out some uh, great, fun Disney throws made especially for this event. Here we go. There's there your you jungle go. Book. All the exciting way to see this. And now, do you think the parade will go two hours or a little bit longer? Well, I.